Hey, what's up? I'm Dave. Hey, what's up? I'm Rebaldi, and you, you're my bestie. Now, don't get too excited, though, because it's come to my attention that apparently bestie in Hungarian meant beast. Beasts. <laughs> We've been calling each other beasts this entire time. <laughs> like, uh, you might as well call me a fucking boar. You want to call me a war hog? Just say it. Just, Just say it. it. So, yeah, apparently bestie and boar are interchangeable words. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and be like, hello, wild boar. How are you? <laughs> okay, shut up. So today's video, today we got another episode of your favorite thing. Okay, 2000s trash TV. This is parental control. If you remember, we did take a look at this previously when I had a manic uh, hiccup episode. Bye -bye, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sending me, man. Y'all so damn vicious. <laughs> you want to set him under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> that episode was about the parents trying to replace their daughter's boyfriend. This time, the girlfriend's getting replaced. So, Bessie, say hi to Dave. What's up? I'm Dave. He seems like a nice guy, right? He loves. I love taking care of Sandra. <laughs> David loves to rescue women, and Cassandra's very needy. I'm sorry, <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry, what? Rescue, <laughs> rescue what? With Cassandra only working part-time, David tends to pay for everything. I think that Cassandra takes advantage of that. He needs to get rid of the ball and chain, and he needs to play the field. David needs somebody who isn't so insecure and a little more independent. We're gonna find him a new hottie. Or a nice girl. Hot. Nice. Sounds like dad's about to start looking for himself. We're gonna find him a new hottie. Or a nice girl. Hot. It's a little concerning. <laughs> it's a little, that one's, that one's a hottie. All right, so let's, let's meet the parents. Hi. What was that? <laughs> I'm Esther and I work for a local school district. And my name is Larry. Stop doing that. <laughs> and I'm Esther's ex-husband. We have a great son named Dave. He's handsome, he's energetic, and he's fearless. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? My son Dave, a f fearless man. You know, he's got, he gets on top of benches, <laughs> has a little skip in his step. Hey, what's up? I'm Dave. The brave and the fearless. My ex-husband and I don't always agree on everything, but there is one thing we do agree on. His girlfriend is a complete pain in the ass. I know, I love how PG is like plastered over his face while he's like, pain in the ass. I'm hungry. I want my food now. I better get my order right. Where's our food? Forever. <laughs> is that is that why she's is that why you want to replace her? Man's man's is staring at her like he doesn't even know her. So how the show works is Dave's girlfriend, Cassandra. Parents don't like her. Apparently she's high maintenance, and so they're gonna try and replace her. How? Well, they each get to pick a girl that he's gotta go out on a date with. And then at the end, he's gonna have to choose between the three options that he's got. Dave will have to decide which one he wants uh, to keep seeing. Yes, yeah, sounds pretty bad, because it is. It is bad, but it gets worse because apparently Cassandra, the girlfriend, is gonna have to sit through and watch all the dates happen. Imagine how his girlfriend Cassandra will feel when she sits with his parents and they watch the dates together. <laughs> like, I, I tell, why? I don't know. That's a really good question. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't believe it. This is up. Look at all that fiery passion. <laughs> now you'd think Dave is a little bummed. You know, like, damn it, my mom and dad, they don't like my girl. You'd think he'd be bummed, <laughs> but he's not. Yeah, man, <laughs> he's not even trying, not even trying to hide it. So let's get to the interviews. Hi, hi. Are you nice to meet you? What is she doing? <laughs> okay. Tell me this, what do you do for a living? I just quit my job so I can actually focus on school. I am an office manager. I'm a receptionist at a spa. I'm a Ruby's diner waitress. Get out of here. Out of town. <laughs> What? <laughs> what is this interaction? Is that even human? Out of here. It's a little. It's a little creepy. I feel like next thing you know, Dad's gonna ask, "What do you smell?" Like, no, this is important for my son. I got. <laughs> no. 
Not this one. Let's see, where's the, where's the fragrance at? I'll tell you where it's at. It's at Scentbird, the sponsor of today's video. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that you could use for yourself or you can use as a gift because frankly, it would make the perfect gift. This is the gift that keeps giving all year round, bestie. Because with Scentbird, you can choose a gift subscription service from three months to six months to maybe 12 months where the recipient of your gift will receive a 30 day supply of a fragrance every single month. It basically gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. There's a lot of fan favorites and a lot of high-end fragrances. There's Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, you name it. This one's personally my favorite. It's a very light, citrusy scent, and that's what I like. You can literally try so many different perfumes and then decide which one you love the most before you invest into a full bottle. Wow. Now, when we think about giving a gift, I feel like most of us would go with a perfume or a fragrance that we'd like to give somebody, right? But what if, what if they hate it? What if you bought an entire perfume bottle for somebody and they hated it because your taste is trash, bestie, and you don't know how to pick perfume? Let me tell you, I got a whole stack of perfume I don't use <laughs> in my room. They're gifts. I'm not gonna throw them away. But do I? I don't use them. Well, that's the beauty of Scentbird because it allows for your gift recipient to choose what fragrance they would like for every single month that you've let them subscribe for. Besides the gift, why not treat yourself too? Treat yourself, bestie. Link in the description box below. And of course, use my code REBALDI to get a 55% off discount on your first month. And maybe next time when I come over to smell you, you'll smell good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thanks, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. Let's head back to creepy, creepy dad, creepy daddy. My ex-wife here wants us to find a really classy gown for our son, but I'd rather have one that's a little naughty. Could you read me a selection from this book? And could you do it in your sexiest voice for me? I know that won't be hard for you. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Dad is making it obvious why he's divorced. But I'd rather have one that's a little naughty. He's not looking for a girl for his son. This guy's not even his real dad. <laughs> How much do you want to bet? This guy's not even his real dad. And he's just trying to... Oh, shit. When this whole thing's over, I, I don't even want to talk about that. Really? You really want that? He does. <clears throat> Sheila entered Larry's tent like a wild cat in heat. <laughs> she was... <laughs> what the f*** is that? A satin thong. A shirt that held back two large firm breasts. She freed them. They danced in the moonlight like two orphans on Sunday afternoon. In his sleeping bag, Larry was making a tent of his own. Oh, I get it. Her hands massaged his hairy chest. Ew. As her moist mouth worked its way over his awaiting lips. <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** is this shit? What the f*** is this shit? This dad is a f***ing creep. She stopped only long enough to whisper, Larry, before this night is through, you will truly be a happy camper. <laughs> Whoa, it's working for me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dad, dad, stop. That is absolutely creepy. Ooh. What a creep. <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Dad needs self-help. How do I fire dad from the casting of the show? If you were gonna have cosmetic surgery, and from what I can tell, you really don't need me, but what would you have done and, and why? You're not the one I'm dating, right? <laughs> I swear to God, like, it sounds like he's the one you're dating. Daddy's out here looking for himself. Dad completely misunderstood the assignment. No, this one's, this is for your son. This is not for you, idiot. <laughs> he came, man came to the wrong show. This is not The Bachelor. <laughs> this, is a, this is parental control. Oh my God, look how dark it's gotten. Oh shit, like whatever, however eerie I look and my room looks, it will never be as creepy <laughs> as dad. Honestly, I wouldn't have any done. Maybe later on in life, you never know, you change. A little nipper tuck here or there maybe later on. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> Shut up, y'all saw that too. Little nipper tuck here or there maybe later on. Uh -huh. right. What the hell is a nipple tuck? Is that even an actual procedure? Nipple tuck. What is a designer nipple? <laughs> what the hell are y'all on about? All right, y'all want to get a nipple tuck? F it, get a nipple tuck. Let me, I'll tuck your nipples. Is it done yet? No, I haven't. I just want the hourglass figure. Excellent choice. What do guys think? So you know, it's, it's eye candy for guys. 
Who is this dude? Who is this dude? Get him off, get him off the show. <laughs> Cast another dad. Cast another dad. Like, we all know this is, like, entirely scripted, you know? Personally, I keep forgetting, like, how scripted this shit is. Like, <laughs> I, th I used to believe it when I was a kid. Like, they're not even his parents, you know? <laughs> they're not even his parents. So, I say we get another dad. Why should we pick you? So many reasons. Because I'm nice. Because I make up sandwiches. Ew. I'm responsible, outgoing, fun. I'm smart. Hey, that's not good enough. Are you hot? That's daddy's criteria, all right? You gotta meet those. I'm responsible, outgoing, fun. That's not what we're looking for. I'm smart. Okay. <laughs> I'm smart. I'm smart. You know. She's laughing. She's like... Mom, mom can't even hold it in anymore. Mom stopped acting a while ago. She's like, I'm smart. That's not what dad's looking for. Dad doesn't care for intelligence. Dad doesn't even possess any of it. He doesn't have to look after me because I can look after myself. I'm adorable. That's, that's what we're looking for. How much you want to bet she's the girl dad shows? I am adorable. That's how much you want to bet. That's the girl dad shows. Different. So you don't have one of those red maintenance lights on all the time? No. Because there's a that's... lot of those around. Oh my God, girl's exhausted. <laughs> can you blame her? No. Was that an attack? No. I'm very low maintenance. I don't think that line was in her script. Shit, I don't think that part- Was that an attack? I don't think that part was in her script. Her lights were broken. You know, I think that she just was like, I'm not gonna take this shit. Was that a fucking attack, bitch? Thank you very much. I won't be a fat wife. <laughs> you know, to think, like, to think this was scripted, like, this was thought about. Somebody thought about this. Then they said it. Like, there were two chances. <laughs> you had chances. You had chances not to do what you did. So now mom and dad are gonna choose the girls that they each liked. I think I'm gonna go for this one, the rocket ship. Nance, <laughs> Nance said the rocket ship. I'm gonna go with this. Missile. Now each of the girls are gonna come over. They're gonna have a chance to go out on a date with Dave. A date with Dave. That should be the name of the show. Let's see how Cassandra's gonna take it. She's gonna have to watch. Means that Cassandra is about to watch her boyfriend go out with another girl. Look at my boy is lost. <laughs> I don't think he even knows whose house he's in. I think he's just there. He's like, he's like, wait, who is I in this again? Was I the boyfriend? Was it? I thought I was the dad. No, I would get why he's confused though, because frankly, the dad is acting like the boyfriend right now. I think the dad thinks the girl's coming to see him, you know? <laughs> There's my girl. Hi, Taylor. Hi. I picked Taylor because David loves athletic girls. I think he's gonna be very happy with my choice. Who is she? I didn't even see her in the first round. <laughs> oh my God, no, this personality didn't even stick, man. Do y'all even remember who Taylor was? <laughs> I who? On a tall, dark, handsome guy. Ah, oh, that's her. Okay, okay. This is Cassandra. And this is my son, Hi. David. Nice Hi, to meet you. I'm Dave. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. When I first saw that bitch walk in, I was about to jump up and rip that bleach blonde hair out of her head. Well, let's go see if we can get you an upgrade. <laughs> Sorry, what? Y'all got no chill. This show, y'all doing the most. Upgrade. <laughs> like you said that in front of her like it was nothing. Well, let's go see if we can get you an upgrade. All right, let's go let's see if we can get you this upgrade. Did you call that an upgrade? Shh. All right, see ya. Holy cow. Her long legs, her blonde hair. She's definitely a hottie. Dave and Taylor are about to head out for a dancing workout while Cassandra tries not to get stripped down by mom and dad. I don't know about that sentence. <laughs> that sentence. While Cassandra tries not to get stripped down by mom and dad. The dad part freaked me out a little, judging his previous behavior. So, Cassandra, are you nervous? Oh, no, not at all. We'll see David take out this uh, bag of trash. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> Y'all are fucking robots. Take out this uh, bag of trash. Okay, well, here we go. I'm gonna teach you some strip fitness today. Strip fitness, huh? Oh my god. That is classy. You got an awesome body. You work out? Yes, I do. I. You're coming to a date where the only thing you're gonna do is work out. She's taking you to her workout place. It's where she works out, and you're like, Do you work out? A chef invited you over on a date 
to his restaurant and you walk in and you're like, wow, this food looks great. And like, do you cook? Yeah, he fucking cooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. He does cook. I see your abs. Right. Keep your hands to yourself, trash. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I forgot him. I forgot how aggressive this show is. <laughs> Wanna feel mine? Yeah. And jingle that a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Just got my new tattoo a week ago. Oh, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, calm down. Okay. I think I'm gonna need a copy of this date for my private files. That's sick. It was all fun and games until dad fucking spoke. He had to, he had to say something. He had to say something. I thought we were working out. <laughs> what, what is, what is this turned into? You, you brought me to work out. Wow, she's good at this. Stripper school paid off, you guys. Oh, she's perfect. How did you pick her? She should have been my pick. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what to say. Like, it's just trash TV, man. She's not a whore. No. It's even hard for me to watch. I think I'm gonna need a cigarette after this date. Oh no, I wanna turn the TV off. I just don't want dad to see any. <laughs> I don't want dad to see any of this. I think she's a nice girl. I really do. This is just another side to her. David wants a woman, not a skanky little girl. Honestly, <laughs> what is he doing? Like the he what goes on in their heads when they're writing these scenarios? Like when you're writing the script, when you're writing the scenario, like you know that he knows that his girlfriend is watching. What is this? <laughs> what is this behavior? Wait, I need to turn on some lights. I don't feel too good about how dark it is here. Okay, I try with the lights and it's not working. So I want you to bear with me. Ooh. This is not the perfect setup. <laughs> it's still a work in progress. It's dark, but it's moody. Fuck. <laughs> So you have a good time strip dancing? Have I had a great time? time. You look great. Thank you. Yeah. What does she have to offer besides her body? With that body, she doesn't need intelligence. Like, is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> I swear to God, it's not funny. It's not even funny. Oh my God, what a creep. Jail. jail. Sir, you need jail. Jail to you. Do you want to eat? Yeah. Looks good, because I'm hungry. Ass whore. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ew. How? What the hell was that? What was that? Well, how's? It? I'm just trying to understand what is seductive about it. Get yo nasty ass mouth away from my palm crease. That's a that's a palm crease. Why are you trying to eat out my palm crease? Like what is what is what happened here? <laughs> What's the thought process, process process behind this? Oh, I'm sure not. We need a bib. You're drooling. No, I'm not. Jail. Well, I want to have just some honey right now. Where do you want it? You pick the spot. No, oh, please don't. Mmm. I told him no kiss. <gasps> I hope you brought protection on this date. My guy, please stop. Dad, jail. <laughs> jail. I can't believe it. This is up. That was an awkward escalation. I forgot to tell you I'm a good kisser too. Oh. <laughs> so is your girlfriend going to be mad about this kiss? Well, I was just licking honey off you. I mean. So you wouldn't do it again? Oh, I'd do it again. I'll lick as much honey as you want me to. <laughs> Whenever you want me to. Oh my god, is he actually crying? No way. Aw, hey, wait a minute. Is she actually crying? Like, or is this just a, is this just an MTV thing to try? Mm. Is she actually crying or is this just a reality TV thing you're trying to like play with my feelings? Because I don't think they're actually dating. You know, she's just a cast, like, she's just a cast member. So she's just acting, isn't she? Because imagine if they were actually dating. No way. <laughs> no way. No way. Imagine if they were actually dating and he went through with this. No, I don't think so. I think she's just acting. But like still, my heart breaks for like, like it's a hypothetical situation, but it's a pretty shitty one, you know? Oh, I hate seeing people cry, man. Like, I kid you not, I hate seeing people cry. It makes me cry, and, like immediately. I don't even. Um, I have a little souvenir for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could use it on a date. 
Girl, stop it. You know, just honestly stop it. It's not even like... <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing at this point. Just take your shit and go home. Take your pole bracelet, your handcuffs, your honey, your palm-sucking habits, and go home. That was embarrassing. I think they really connected. And I'm gonna connect my fist to her face. <laughs> Please. That was a really shitty joke. I had to react. Oh, yes. How are you, Cassandra? Could be better. Yeah? How was your day? I had a good time. I thought I asked you not to kiss anybody. That was part of the day. Just lick the honey off. It's all right. You're OK, right? Wow, I just got back from my date with Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. This dude is like, you're OK, right? Like, babe. Whatever. Babe, don't be like this. You're okay, right? No, yeah, I'm okay. I only like watched you grind on another girl and then strip tease and then kiss her and then I watch her eat out your palms, but yeah, I'm okay. That's all. Yeah, exactly, babe. I'm glad you're like this. You're like such a bro. Babe, you're so understanding. All right, who's dad's pick? Rebecca. Hi. I told you! That's the girl I talked about, right? The girl is like, I'm adorable. Nice this to see you. This is your friend Cassandra. Hi, how are you? And okay. this is my son, Dana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When I first saw Rebecca, the first thought that came to mind was, she looks like a nine-year-old. What is he gonna do? Take her to buy ice cream? Rebecca is taking Dave to the beach for a Hawaiian-style luau. She's cute. I think she looks pretty hot. This girl's so white, she's almost see-through. <laughs> I forgot how exhausting this show is. There's just so many comments being thrown around. So many negative comments being thrown around. Girl, I am drained. Bestie, I am drained. Jesus, this is exhausting to sit through. How different she is. I mean, she's she's independent. She's living life large. She's independent because nobody wants her. <laughs> Thank God for these dancers. I don't have to talk to her now. <laughs> I knew you had something to say. They're enjoying themselves. I think they're having a great time. Stop checking out the dancers. Hey, can I help it if I like coconuts? <laughs> jail. Go to jail and just don't come back. This man, man, he fucking sends shivers, shivers down my spine <laughs> every every time he <laughs> opens his mouth. <laughs> Down pat, you guys. She did do the pig call very well. If this was a real luau, they put the apple in her mouth. Cause she's a pig. Jail. <laughs> Y'all sending me with your shit. Oh my god, I can't believe you said that. What the f that was so rude. That was so rude. Cause she's a pig. Oh, but, oh my god, this is <laughs> this next level shit. Why don't your parents like your girlfriend? She's pretty needy. She thinks I stare at every other girl in the world. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm flirting with them. No. They think she's a little immature, I think. Oh my god, dude, don't you like fucking- He knows, like, this script is sending me. Y'all know damn well Cassandra's listening. And what's she hearing? Oh, she's needy. She's exhausting. She's immature. What does Cassandra have to say? You guys think I'm immature? <laughs> From what I've seen, I'm more mature than he is. Take over. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just not working because I feel like Cassandra is taking it to heart. Like the actress. <laughs> this is this scenario that we're trying to build here is not working. It's the end of the day, it's time that you should get laid. <laughs> what? Say psych. Say psych now. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cool. If that's the best you two could do, I'm not worried at all. This should be interesting. It should be. And if he knows what's best, he'll choose me. Let's see. I had an awesome time. I learned how to dance. Some seaweed. I was proud of you. You made her squeal like a pig like I've never heard before. That was awesome. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I hear that right? You made her squeal like a pig like... What is that? What is this shit? What are y'all saying? What is this shit? What is this? What does it mean? What do you, what do you want us? What do you want? You, go home. Your ex-wife can't stand you. Nobody, nobody, I can't stand you. Go home. 
my god. Go get a nipple tuck or something. <laughs> Cassandra and the new girls are downstairs, anxiously awaiting his decision. All right, let's see who he picks now. Mom, I know why you picked Taylor. She's a gorgeous girl, and I really think she's got a great personality. Dan, I know why you picked Rebecca. She's very spontaneous, and she's down for anything just like I am. And Cassandra, you're the queen of and you have an amazing heart, and I love that about you. Okay. Rebecca, I had an amazing date with you, but I think we'd be better off as just friends. He's like, Rebecca, you were too normal, you know? You didn't sexualize anything, you know? You didn't put honey on your lips, you didn't show me your nipple tuck, you didn't strip tease. I mean, nothing against Dave, but you know, the dad picked me because, you know, he felt I could keep up with his son, but a chimpanzee on a tricycle could keep up with his son. But the dad picked me. But you know, the dad picked me. So after this, there's always the dad. That's, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's where she was going with this. So there's always the dad. Dad's waiting. Taylor, you are super fun and very sexy. I had an awesome time with you. I'm a little bit worried though that you are a little bit of a player. And, <laughs> but I've made my decision. The woman I choose is. Disappointed because somebody with such a big ego is lacking in other departments, if you know what I mean. Jail. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. It's so hard to watch. This shit is so hard to sit through. You know, as much as I hate to admit it, you made a great choice. She is a really neat girl. And I think in the end, we all won. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm done. I'm going to turn. We're going to turn this off. That's it, bye. I'm sure you're done. You are done with my shitty lighting. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? Uh, everything about that was just a pain. The dad, that that was like the top of my 13th reason, right here, the dad. And I think in the end, we all won. Don't forget to get your Scentbird fragrance subscription service and use code REBALDI for a 55% off of your first month. But boy, that was something. That was something. You know, the whole video, it started at a point when the sun was up and shining. We were happy. There was happy energy here. And now, <laughs> I am exhausted. My happiness is depleted. The th family feuds, the little the banter. <laughs> this show, man, it's got so much banter. Oh, man. But yeah, this is what it looks like when it's dark, and it's just me and you. Me and you and a one light shining bright on my face. This is what it's like. I definitely need to work on my lighting. It's a work in progress. I don't want to hear any, I don't want to hear any banter. Today, I've had enough. Bore. <laughs> Listen, I'm just kidding. Like, you're my bestie. Okay, beast, bestie, doesn't matter. Because I love you. Okay. But yeah, I don't want to hear banter. So if you want to say anything about my lighting, it better be good. Ooh. Is the camera even focusing on me? Can it even find me? I don't know. I literally can't tell. I can't, I can't see. So dark, I can't see anything. This is like the whole theme of today's video. The theme of today's video is that got dark pretty quickly. I mean, it did. <laughs> Their comments. Their comments. Every, everything. It was comical. It was nice and fun. And then... Bam, someone says something they should have just not said. But yeah, guys, that's much it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'm gonna go now. Bye, bye, bye.